The sun is so far away from our planet that it provides sunlight to all parts of the planet. But the rays of the sun shine directly between the tropics and the poles get sunlight at a slant angle. Out of the little sunlight that reaches the polar regions, a lot of it is reflected back by the bright white surface. During winters, the temperatures at the North Pole range from minus 15 to minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit and the average temperature during summers is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, warm enough for ice sheets to start melting. But this is nothing when compared to its polar opposite. The average temperature during winters is minus 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is it so different at the South Pole? The North Pole is located in the middle of the Arctic Ocean with no landmass beneath it. The Arctic Ocean has floating ice sheets of 2 to 3 meters, which expand during winters and shrink in summers. That's why we cannot have a permanent station at the North Pole. The South Pole lies on the continent of Antarctica. This continent is the world's tallest continent with a height of 9,300 feet above sea level, of which 9,000 feet is the thickness of the ice sheets that cover it. Greenland has the only permanent ice sheet near North Pole but it's one-eighth the size of the ice sheet in Antarctica. The ocean under the Arctic ice is extremely chilled, but still much warmer than the ice itself. And some of this heat escapes through the cracks formed due to the continuous movement of the ice caps by the ocean currents and strong winds. We all know land loses heat much faster than water. The air over the ocean acts like a heat insulator, drawing heat from the atmosphere during summers and keeping the climate comparatively warmer in winters. The South Pole is cold dry land at a very high altitude. With the rise in altitude, the temperature decreases. The highest recorded temperature at the Amundsen Scott Station South Pole is 9.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit and the lowest is minus 117 degrees Fahrenheit. What's surprising is, this isn't the coldest temperature recorded on our planet. It's minus 128.5 degrees Fahrenheit at Vostok, a Russian research station which is about 800 miles from the South Pole. Although the Antarctic coast is flourishing with marine life, the habitat at the South Pole is too harsh for almost all organisms to survive. No plant or animal is native to the South Pole. The bird Arctic tern makes a round-trip migration from Arctic to Antarctic and back every year, spending its springs and summers in the Arctic. A lot of birds frequently visit the North Pole. At the North Pole, we can find shrimps, sea anemones, tiny crustaceans and several species of fish, the Arctic cod being the most abundant. And the polar bears may sometimes wander around the North Pole in search of food.